Kelly Oubre already talked about Valley Boys merchandise coming soon, and if he's serious, I'm gonna buy it and make a video about it. Hey there guys, my name is Brandon, and welcome to the video. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably gonna make a video about it. And welcome back to a brand new Phoenix Suns weekly video, you guys. There's a lot to talk about here, and there's gonna be a lot of numbers and statistics in this video, so let's dive right into it. As we dive into the Phoenix Suns weekly discussion, just remember guys, there's a lot of numbers in this video, and I do want to start off with a statistic that I think is absolutely important. The Phoenix Suns scored 43 points in the fourth quarter against the Portland Trailblazers, and even though they lost, the Phoenix Suns almost came back and won. They only lost 127 to 120. And the Phoenix Suns, who beat the Golden State Warriors last night, 115 to 111. The Phoenix Suns outscored the Warriors 40 to 28 in the second quarter. And the Suns also had 36 points in the fourth quarter. These numbers for the Suns the past couple games have been awesome. The Golden State Warriors had an 18 game win streak over the Phoenix Suns and it's the Phoenix Suns first win in Oracle Arena since 2011. And can we talk about Devin Booker, who has been absolutely fantastic lately for the Phoenix Suns? Absolutely no surprise there. Devin Booker had 37 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds, shot 13 from 23 from the field in 41 minutes. And also, he had 13 straight points for the Suns, 17 in the fourth quarter. Devin Booker probably should have been player of the week, and he wasn't. The Phoenix Suns are last in the league in rebounding, but I was pretty impressed last night. Against the Golden State Warriors, they actually tied the Warriors in the rebounding battle, but they did win the defensive rebounding battle 40-34. to The Phoenix Suns beat the Los Angeles Lakers 118-106. to Hello, LeBron James. The Phoenix Suns beat the Milwaukee Bucks 114 to 105, the best team in the Eastern Conference. The Phoenix Suns beat the Knicks. They lost to the Blazers only by seven, as I stated earlier in the video. And then they beat the Golden State Warriors. And guys, I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the future about Kelly Oubre Jr., but Kelly Oubre Jr. has been absolutely fantastic for the Phoenix Suns. He's been a breath of fresh air for this team. He is saying and doing all of the right things on and off the court. He is good with the media. He's good with the fans. Kelly Oubre Jr. is exactly what the Phoenix Suns deserved in this long, brutal season for the Phoenix Suns. Kelly Oubre Jr. said, and I quote, I'm here, number three, small forward for the Phoenix Suns. Trying to keep it that way for the rest of my career. Close quote. <laughs> For the rest of his career, Devin Booker said he was an unbelievable addition for us. I'm telling you guys, when I say he's a breath of fresh air, Kelly Oubre Jr. is just doing so many things, but it's like the normal things for him. I'm honestly losing my words about how much Kelly Oubre has impressed me on and off the court. This guy is awesome. He's going to be a building block for the future. When the Phoenix Suns eventually get the right pieces, become a playoff team, Kelly Oubre will be part of that because, again, he's a building block. Kelly Oubre is awesome. Valley Boys, where you at? Kelly Oubre already talked about Valley Boys merchandise coming soon, and if he's serious, I'm going to buy it and make a video about it. Seriously, Kelly Oubre Jr., if you are watching, I want that Valley Boys merchandise, like, right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon. Please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably going to make a video about it. And you guys, I got some big things coming to the channel. I got a whole bunch of videos to record. It's going to be pretty awesome, you guys. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.